What's up, Xavier Architects? Okay, here we go. Uh, I'm going to jump into this and name this and save it. Save as... Oh, and uh, we're going to save that into the uh, old bin of other files and architectural whatnots. And I'm going to scroll in here, and the first thing we're going to do as we make our holes is we're going to start with a polyline. Well, you know what? No, we're going to start with a box tool. We'll make a box tool. And we're going to go boom to here to here. We'll go about three of these units wide and about five high. Well, six high. Oh. And then we're going to go up. Up. Not very high. Let's go to about there. All right. That's cool. And here I'm going to go shaded so I can see that real nicely. And I'm going to be working in my top view. And making holes, you're actually going to find that you're going to start using some of these other views a little bit more. But ultimately what we're going to do is we're going to start off by just making a basic polyline and boom and boom and boom boom boom. And what I want to do is I want to make that a hole and if you look at it it's actually at the bottom of that shape right because I'm, I'm drawing from the top view so that's on the floor of the shape there. And what I want to do is I want to make a hole out of that that cuts through this solid so I'm going to use the make hole command. Boom. It says select planar closed curves. And we know that a planar, a, a closed curve and a polyline are the same, right? If we make multiple polylines, sometimes we have to join them. Okay, and I'll show you how to do that next. But uh, right now we just made one continuous polyline. So that is a closed curve. So we're going to press enter when done. And then it says select a surface or poly surface, that would be our solid. And then look, oh, springs to action. I'm going to go to the side view or the front view here so I can see how tall that's going. And I'll just cut right through the top of it. Boom. And you'll see there's that hole. All right? It makes a hole through our shape. Oh, that's pretty clean. All right. What if I want to get fancy here and build like a curved hole of some sort? Well, I'm going to start with my freeform tool. And I'll start here. And I'll click here. here, oh, and then we get that nice arc, and then click here, and then I'm going to go down to here, boom, and then I'm going to hit enter, so that locks into place, and then I'm going to grab the line tool again, and then cut through here, and press enter. Now we have actually two separate curves, and you will not be able to make a hole like that. So what I'm going to use is the join tool, so I'm going to highlight the first line, Hold down the shift key and select the second line and type in join in my command line. Enter. And now we have one continuous closed curve. Perfect. Now we're going to make our hole. Make hole. Boom. Select the curve. Bang. Enter. Boom. There's my surface. And I'm cutting through again. Pop. And I've got a nice look at that. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. It's coming again. Making some interesting things. Uh, now, there's another way to make a hole. I can start with a polyline. Let's make an interesting one here. We'll go here and here. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm just going to make a kind of cool one here. Different points. And feel free to, you know, make whatever design your heart so desires. But I'm going to make sort of a grill here of some sort, like that interesting thing there and, and, and see I've got my this is once again just a polyline and if I want to cut through this a different way the first thing I need is to convert this to a surface now we haven't done this yet but I can take a closed curve like this and turn it into a surface by going to solid no surface planar curves boom and that turns it into a surface yeah, see the little lines cutting through there? That, that tells me I've got a poly surface now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude that curve. So I'm going to, well, actually extrude the surface, my bad. I want to extrude the surface. So I'm going to click on the surface and type in extrude surf. 
enter, and look, it gets crazy. It goes up high. So I'm going to just go up high, boom. And then I'm going to move that down so it actually, oops, that's just the, the, the one curve, the line. I'm going to move it down so it cuts through the entire thing. And we're going to type in the difference command, difference. And you'll see Boolean difference shows up. Click OK to select surfaces to subtract with. And that's what we've got highlighted. So I'm going to hit Enter. Oh, you know what? Let's try this without having anything selected. All right. Let's go difference. Boolean difference. Boom. Select solid surfaces or poly surfaces to subtract from. That would be this. All right. We want to subtract from the, the original solid. Press Enter. Select surfaces to subtract with. That would be my um, new poly surface. Enter. And you can see there it cuts through. The original surface is still there. So I can zoom in, click on that, and hit delete. And boom, I've got my nice, nice hole. So two different ways there to make holes, right? With the make hole command or with the Boolean difference tool by extruding a curve through a solid. Um, all right, and we don't always have to go through and let me just show you how you can use the different views here to uh, You know have some some other holes in a, in a structure or something. Let's say okay, so I'm just gonna grab another solid cube here and we're just gonna pop this over here and you know, something like that and uh, I'm going to uh, use the Let's see maybe the front view all right, let's use the front view and see what we got there. And I'm just going to start with a polyline here and go there, boom, 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 boom. And that's an easy way to get it to stick to the front of the surface there, All right, using the other view here. And I've got a complete closed polyline there. I didn't just make the three lines, but I closed it. And I'm going to uh, use the make hole command again. And say OK and select the closed curve. There it is. And press Enter when done. OK. Select the surface that we want to make the hole in. There it is. And you can see it springs right into action. And look here. I can go into the right hand view and sort of just don't go all the way through it, but just indent it like that. And now look at what that looks like. That See that? I got like a little door to my house, you know. You say, well, wait a minute. I want to. I want to make a hole. I want to take out the whole center of the house, you know. Well, we can try that. I'll let you guys try that. Uh, but let's make a window. So I'm going to grab my polyline to tool, and we'll make a window up here, a little bay window of some sort. And uh, let's make another one. It's such a pretty little window, and he's kind of all alone. He's, he's lonely. We'll give him some friends. Let's give those two windows, and then we'll make a big window over here. Right above our door. Yeah, that'd be a nice, nice large window. Okay, make holes. Enter, and now you can see that we could actually make more than one, right? So I could select that, select that, select that, and press enter, and then select a surface or poly surface that would be this guy and immediately we're back into action snapping uh, our our holes into place okay cool so have some fun with that mess around and see what you come up with with the hole tool